might be the youngest panelist here. I just finished my first year. this corn it's so beautiful like it's so yellow like how is it even this color you know we have one batch here we're doing another one over there it's getting steamed and then the next batch is here yeah. yeah we are planning on doing barbecue and like setting up a tent outside and having a good time but things got moved indoors but it's still gonna be a really good time starting off august with some church Friends. I'm very excited. <laughs> Hello. It is a beautiful day today. I'm gonna go and get some coffee because I am so tired. I'm just so tired. Like, I... I'm just so tired. <laughs> yes, of course I can make coffee at home, but you know, I just want to treat myself and I just want to drive. I'm not yet sure if I want to go to McDonald's or Tim's or a local bakery. Currently leaning towards a local bakery just because I keep seeing their cold brew on my Instagram because they post it on their Instagram story and it looks really good. So I might just go get cold brew there just to support, you know, local businesses. I love doing that. I just like it makes me feel a part of the community. That's so cheesy. Okay guys, so I just got to the parking lot of the bakery so i'm gonna go in and grab probably some cold brew and like i'm gonna look at the treats i just got back i got two iced americanos and the straws are so cute i think they're paper straws which is really nice and i'm very excited to try that and then i actually got three cookies so this one here is their everything cookie it has like chocolate chips oats cornflakes marshmallow this one here is their lemon something and then this one here is their monster cookie it has like oats raisins chocolate chips m ms i just love oats i mean you will probably already know i freaking love oats whenever there's oats and cookies like i'll take it i was iffy about the monster one just because there's raisins in it and i kind of hate raisins but i'm pretty excited to try these let me head home and i'm gonna go give rachel a coffee now. here is my coffee it's so good like i just really want a cold coffee gotta get to work now so update actually my work study is being extended till the end of this month Gigi's following me so I still have work to do so I'm going to get started on that still you know editing videos later today I'm going to the eye doctor so I might vlog some of that because I need to get a eye examination I'm very excited to try these here are they again don't they look so good I think I'm gonna try the one the everything one This is the perfect texture. Rachel, are you up? I'm tired. Come have this with me, it's so good. Cookies. From where? I bought them at the bakery that I went to get the coffee at. You went to a freaking bakery? Yeah. Oh my god. I went to a bakery, why? New market? No, in Aurora. There's a bakery? There's so many bakeries in Aurora. Oh my god, what? what? I'm gonna try the next one. This became a cookie mukbang, but okay, this one is the lemon um, shortbread one. Mmm, so good. What the heck? Mmm, mmm, it's really good. It's like the perfect amount of lemon. Oh, it's good. Okay, I'm gonna leave the last one for later. I don't know how I feel about the raisin. Yeah, I'm gonna get to work now, so I will see you later. So dilated. 
that's insane. Oh my gosh. So I just did my eye thingy and they, you know when they shine like that really bright light and everything is so bright right now. I'm just gonna wear my sunglasses. Um, apparently I'm like, I borderline have astigmatism. Okay, so they gave me uh, trial contacts for regular contacts that are my new prescription. Um, and then next week they're gonna give me like the torque contacts that have like the thing that cancels out the astigmatism. And then we're gonna try it out and see whatever feels better. But yeah, my eyes got like pretty bad. Like I think it's like negative seven and negative six which is quite a jump yeah. but my doctor said don't worry like it's because i'm still young like your eyesight will keep changing until you like get to your mid-20s but he did say like take breaks when you're looking at the screen and yes. i was like oh crap true so every 20 minutes like you should take a break me. i literally look at a screen for five hours straight non-stop and i'm pretty sure that's killing my eyes so yeah if i lose my eyesight it is what it is yeah that's what we learned today But we made so many. Mm. Hey guys, so we are currently making a cheesecake. If you want to see the actual cheesecake, check out Rachel's vlog. I'll link it in the card. But we had some ingredients left over. So we're at we're actually making a mini cheesecake. We intended the cheesecake to be for my mom, so we want to still taste it. And we're making the crust right now. These do be yummy. We really don't use the correct tools for anything we do, <laughs> so that's why we're mixing with everything the scooper. It. That's how we do everything. It's fine. Also, it doesn't have to taste perfect. I mean, what? It doesn't have to look perfect. It just have to taste good. Should we try freezing this one? Yeah, okay, we have to let this sit in the fridge for like 20 minutes and then we're gonna put the rest over, rest over? The leftover of that it's not like into sticky. here. So our cheesecake has been sitting in the fridge for like seven hours, six hours, and it's so cute <laughs> that it's been there. I'm scared. Ooh, wow, oh my gosh, it looks good. Mm. Is it good? Mm -hmm. I'm very excited. I don't know if y'all can see the inside has the layer. You saw when we were making it. But, but I think if this goes in the fridge for a little longer, it'd be better. Yeah. It says 12 hours to get the perfect consistency, but we really wanted to try tonight. The crust part is not very um, we solid. Should put more butter. Yeah. That tastes really good. Yeah, I think if the crust mm -hmm. was more solid. compact, mm -hmm. it would have been better. That's good. I want there to be more sweet. cracker. Next mm -hmm. time we make it, we can put more cracker. Mm -hmm. I will link the recipe down below. It's a no-bake cheesecake. Yeah. 
so you just like keep in the fridge and i think it's like really easy to make so yeah y'all should try it out hey guys how are you doing today is monday august 10th and i just did my makeup got a little bit more put together put on an actual shirt not like a pajama shirt because i'm actually doing something kind of fun later at seven i'm speaking at a webinar for this organization called stem fellowship they reached out to me and asked me to talk a little bit about uft and my experience being in life side during my first year and stuff like that it sounded cool i was kind of scared because i was like uh like i just felt like i don't have as much experience because i first of all i didn't take all of the life side courses during my first year that people normally take and I also didn't really join any lifestyle related clubs but I did ask some of my friends and try to like get more information so I can share back to the students I'm just like really excited I get to talk to some more students like I don't know how helpful I'm gonna be but you know what confidence is key I'm just gonna be like okay you got this talk you'll be fine yeah it's only an hour and there's three other people from UFT I'm pretty excited so I feel like I've been talking in circles but long story short I'm speaking later I did my makeup I'm pretty excited I will let you know how it goes afterwards okay guys I'm about to join the call <laughs> troubleshooting oh my gosh apparently my camera was not like my computer didn't allow my camera or audio microphone to access zoom so i just fixed that hopefully it works nicole you're back Ooh. yes hello. hello i was having some troubles with the audio but we're good i think we're good now right yes yes awesome at the university of toronto we're excited to share some information about campus life academics and extracurriculars Hi everyone, I'm Nicole. I might be the youngest panelist here. I just finished my first year in life sciences. I'm actually going into health studies and sociology for my second year. Um, this one here, I took this, uh, I think this is a medical science building. Uh, I definitely remember going here a lot because of it's like, like a class, um, but yeah, I just took this one class, and that's about it. I think the reason I chose to go to U of T was just because of my, my visit there. Hey guys, so it just ended right now. It went really well, like I even learned a lot. Unfortunately, there were so many questions that people didn't get answers to because people were asking a lot of questions. So I felt kind of bad, but hopefully there'll be a way to like get in contact with the people who still had questions and then um, follow up with that. Yeah, I just like got to talk a little bit about my experience and got to hear about the experience of some upper years, which was like really helpful for me. Someone was saying how like, it's not all about your GPA, it's not all about your mark, it's about like what kind of person you are, what kind of interests you have and like passion will show through on whether that's a resume or through an interview. It like made me really excited for second year and made me really excited to figure out what I'm interested in because I feel like listening to them, I realized that there's still so much, even after my first year, there's still so 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 much that i don't know about university and about what's out there and different fields of study and different opportunities and different career paths so yeah that was a good um reminder oh my god you imagine she's like i only like this 